Well, hey everyone, my name is Dave and welcome to another Orange Students Social Media Minute. So you may already have noticed that video has become the go-to medium for social media posts. I mean, the stats on video views on social media are just mind-blowing. <laughs> I should include some sort of explosion effect in there. I think I spat on the screen. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna tell you why you should be posting video on social media and I'm gonna show you how to shoot and edit your videos on this. Let's roll the bumper. If this is your first time here, this is the place where we share social media tips and tricks to help make you more efficient and effective at connecting with your students. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you never miss an episode. Okay, so like I said, video is huge on social media. And if you've been on the fence about whether or not you should be creating videos to connect with your students, well, I'm here to tell you, you should. I mean, check out these stats on social media videos. Five billion videos are watched on YouTube every day. More than one billion hours of video are watched on YouTube every day. 100 million hours of video are watched on Facebook every day. People retain more than 95% of content they watch on video. Social media posts with video get 48% more views. Video on social media gets 1200% more shares than text and images. Tweets with videos get 10 times more engagement. And 91% of 13 to 17 year olds watch YouTube every day. And here's the thing, if 91% of your students are watching YouTube videos every day, don't you think you should be creating content that speaks their language? Now that you know why video should be a part of your social media strategy, I wanna to talk to you about how you can shoot and edit a video on nothing more than this. Now, first up, yes, this is an iPhone, but really you can use any sort of smartphone. Now, all of us already know how to use the camera app that's built into our smartphone, but when it comes to shooting video, lighting is key. And the best sort of lighting is actually free. It's called the sun. So that means whenever you shoot a video for social media, just make sure you're sitting next to a window or some other source of natural light. Now, when it comes to editing your videos, most smartphones already come with a built-in editing app. But if you wanna up your game, there are a couple of free editing apps that you can get from either the App Store or Google Play. iMovie is a simple and awesome app. <coughs> awesome? iMovie is an awesome and simple app for Apple devices. The Splice app lets you bring in video files from places like Dropbox and Google Drive. The Videorama app allows you to export files to different video orientations for different social media platforms. Adobe Premiere Clip allows you to add background music to your videos. And while you do need an Adobe account, it's free to join and free to get the app. And my final recommendation is Magisto, which allows you to combine multiple video clips. Now, these are not all the editing apps that are available, but these are just a few that I have used and found really helpful. If you've got any recommendations, we would love to hear from you. So why don't you tell us about what apps you use in the comment section down below. Now, if all of this seems a little too time consuming, you can always go live on social media. Doing an Instagram live story is an awesome way to connect with students and going live on Facebook is a great way for you to connect with parents. For example, going live on Instagram the day before your student gathering is a great way to create expectation and FOMO for them. And doing a live video on Facebook the day after your weekly service is a great way for you to let parents know what you talked about with their students. All you need to do to go live on either of these two platforms is just hit the live button. And remember, even if you're going live, make sure you sit next to a natural source of light. Well, that's it for this video. If it was helpful for you, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you for the next hashtag orange social media a minute.